This video explains how to compute a distance matrix using the dist function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the matrix object that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our matrix. And as you can see, our matrix contains five rows and eight columns, which are called V1 to V8. So let's assume that we want to compute the distance matrix corresponding to our input matrix. Then we can apply the dist function, as you can see in line five of the code. And within the dist function, we simply need to specify the name of our matrix. So in this case, our matrix is called data. And for that reason, we need to specify this name within the dist function. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom that a distance matrix is returned, which is showing the distances between our matrix data that we have inserted within the dist function. So please note that by default, the dist function is computing the Euclidean distance. So if you want to change that, you can apply the method argument as you can see in line seven of the code. And to the method argument, you can specify different methods such as the Manhattan distance, as you can see in this example. So if you run line seven of the code, another distance matrix is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this distance matrix contains the Manhattan distance. Another option that you have with the dist function is that you also show the diagonal of this distance matrix. And you can do that by specifying the diag argument to be equal to true, as you can see in line nine of the code. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that our distance matrix is extended because this time the diagonal of this distance matrix is also shown in the output. Similar to that, you can also specify that you want to show the upper triangle of the distance matrix using the upper argument. So if you set the upper argument to be equal to true, then the upper part of the matrix is also shown in the output as you can see after running line 11 of the code. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.